Some people have a harder time at dealing with life than others. And they wonder, what, what am I doing wrong? You know, I'm just playing the cards I was dealt. Well, everybody is dealt the same deck of cards. It's how you play them that matters. And it's never too late to change things in your life. Even if you're bedridden, or you know, it doesn't matter the situation. There are things you can do to make your life better. In my life, I would classify as, as I'm happy. I couldn't be happier. But it wasn't always that way. But I was never one of them people that just moped around all day because oh, I had too many bills and all this and that. Because that solves nothing. It never has. So I'm going to go over about five things that you can do to help reduce the unhappiness in your life. Maybe, you know, I'm no expert. These are just things that I know that I've changed or am currently working on, improving on, that have made my life so much better. And, you know, it's up to everybody has, where's my, where's my notes? See? I had them written down. I already know what they are. I don't need notes. These, these, these mean nothing. Is this it? Here they are. No. They were right here on top. You know, I got to write stuff down. If I can improve this, I'm working on it. But the number one thing, and I'm, these are in no particular order, but they all kind of go together. So let's start off with the first thing, and that is debt. If you owe a man, you know, if you owe credit card debt. If you're behind in any kind of car payments, you, you have car payments, mortgages. Uh, those things tend to keep you less happy because you feel you don't have enough things in your life. Because you got all this debt. But the truth of it is, a lot of the debt, especially credit cards, that comes from, from putting things in your life that you don't need. That you don't have to have, you just want it. You know, that, that new pair, pair of shoes that everybody's wearing, you got to have it. So you buy them, but then you're afraid to wear them because they're so shiny and new. Well, them things add up over time, and then before you know it, you can't make a payment high enough to conquer that debt. It just is, is never going to go away, and that's how they're designed. That's how they want you to have them. They want your cards to be maxed out, and they got you. Now, I do have some credit cards, and actually one of them's a little higher than I want it to be. That's because I use that to buy materials to remodel my kitchen, which is still not done. But I accepted that. I'm in a position where if I have to, you know, I can, it's not a high, that high of a payment. It's, it's not that high of a balance. But I do have it, and they're nice to have for an emergency. But if you can live without charging things, don't, don't charge any more than you can pay off in a month. That's a good rule of thumb. Now, sometimes it gets away from us, and I'm guilty of that too. Another thing uh, is relationships. If you're in a bad relationship and you're not happy, get the hell out of it. doesn't matter what the situation is. You are not alone in that. Everybody on this planet, it seems, has went through good or bad relationships. Myself, I got several of those out of the way when I was younger. And I tend, you know, I choose to be alone and be happy because there's nobody to tell me what to do. And I don't have to live up to anybody's expectations. You know, I had that period of my life. And I realized I'm terrible at it. So I got out of it. I took over dogs. Dogs never, well, they do talk back. But, I'm bigger than them. And I'm the one that buys the food. Yeah, that's kind of a control thing. I don't know. So, yeah, if you're, if you're in a bad relationship, that is certainly contributing to you not being happy. And a lot of people are in bad relationships because money, debt, 
That is the number one thing in a marriage or a relationship that, that couples fight over is money. So that, that all points to number one. Number three, stress. Stress is brought on by the above two. Debt, bad relationship. See how they, if you eliminate the first one, debt, you know, you're, you're going to ease up on that stress. Uh, a lot of people tend to, thank you, a lot of people tend to let, a, let the small things bother them. Uh, if, there's one thing I've learned in life. Usually everything, every kind of issue, problem will eventually work itself out or go away. Eventually. But you do got to make some sort of effort in that. Um, but stress is not good to have. It can shorten your life. And I try not to let many things. If anything bothers me, it's very short term. I'll let it go. But I don't have a lot of the first two. I don't have any of the second one relationship so I don't worry about it it doesn't stress me out uh, the next one I just said stress oh your health so eliminating the stress that is being caused by your relate bad relationship which is being caused by your debt eliminate those things and your health will improve but it's not where something gets fixed because you just sit in a chair and do nothing about it you do got to make an effort i was terrible at that and i'm making an effort now and i'm having results I've changed the way i ate i gave up things uh, none of these things can be done without i wouldn't call it suffering but you're definitely going to have to make an adjustment to how you think. And you, would, you, you could suffer. If you're addicted to ice cream, okay, and you just quit eating ice cream, you may suffer a little. But that suffering is really only up in here. So keep yourself busy. Do something else instead of eating ice cream. Oh, my God. Rocky Road, that sounds so good right now. Just because I'm not eating it doesn't mean I can't daydream about it. That's for sure. All right. And what is, uh, yeah, security is the last one. If you don't feel you, you or your family is secure by what I mean by that is if something were to happen, do you have enough food? Can you protect your family? Uh, what have you done about that? Have you put steps in place? Have you have you stockpiled a little bit of food enough to at least for a month? Uh, do you have the means to protect your family? Can't say that on YouTube. What you should know what I mean. You got to have some means of protection. A lot of people have, and and I hear this all the time of people doing this that they live in the city but they have a place to go in the country if something were to happen, uh, a bug out camp. Well, that's great if you can get there. If you can get there. And if you see a disaster or social unrest getting really bad, you need to get out and go there right away. Do not wait. Because once it gets bad enough, you may not be able to get on the roads. You may be on foot, which is even more dangerous. Because human beings are the most dangerous thing that you will have to face. They want your food. They want everything. You know, money is probably not going to be any good anymore. So food is like gold. Water will be like gold. And gold will be like gold. Now gold is something that is good to have. It has been valuable throughout history and it always will. Gold and silver. Uh, currently, I don't have any of that. I need to, I need to start doing that. But... Also, you got to look at your age. You know, if you're 95 years old, you don't really care about any of this. Because by 95 years old, there ain't much stressing you out anymore. And if you haven't made it by then, you're, you're one tough old bird. So, But if you're in your 40s or 30s, you need to think about the future. The number one thing for me was getting 
getting mortgage free and no car payments okay there was a loud boom don't know what that was uh you get to be mortgage free that is a big part of the debt okay you you can because that that's a, a majority of your income would usually goes for rent or mortgage payments and i paid cash for this place it was <laughs> next to nothing but i had to re you know i had to rebuild this place and it took a long time and i'm still working on it but i was happy all those years even though i didn't have the most luxury living conditions you know three of them years i spent living in a ratty old fifth wheel out on the property but i was still happier than if i was handing over a thousand dollars a month or whatever rent is now to somebody that and had nothing to show for it living in a tent on land you own free and clear is better than living in a luxury apartment that you got to give your hard-earned money to somebody every single month so when you when you add all of these five things up it all comes to money pretty much money regulates your health your relationships your well-being everything stress it causes all those problems or it can alleviate all those problems just depends on you know but to say that you were dealt bad bad hand of cards no it's how you play them i mean that's my life was not always uh roses and cherries and it still isn't but it's much better i don't have to worry about a lot of things now and uh and i'm prepared if something happens you know not not for years but i can survive and so everybody you know what what they think of life is a little different for me you know i'm just you got to find what's good for you and and go with it that makes any sense so that's what i got life is good say that every day even if it's a bad day let me tell you something let me tell you about yesterday now i put a video out i had to move that big machine in that big weight machine i bought and that was fun got that in later that evening i had to go unload all the weights that go to that machine out of the truck i got the last two weights out came back to shut the door and the door the back door hit me cracked me right on the elbow now i can't hardly bend my arm so it ruined my whole plans for today yesterday i was going to mow and uh, the week before i put the mower up the belt blew off because i went through too much grass so i put the belt back on i get mowing i mow a few laps and the belt breaks oh, i have a spare I'm in the shed so i put it on and it broke within five minutes so i apparently have something wrong with the deck one of the pulleys something's rubbing that shouldn't be so i got two more on order so i'm gonna pull the deck off and get to the problem because something they just don't I, when I worked in the printing trade, if something breaks, you just don't, you know, there's, there's pressmen that when the paper, it's called the web, that goes through the press and prints. And there's certain kinds of pressmen where when that web breaks, they just put the web back in and do it again. And then it breaks again. They just keep putting the web back in. They ain't looking for the cause, the problem, to fix it. Because something's causing the problem. But they just keep putting it back in and, they're, and then they struggle all day long. I just park the thing. You know, I mean, I have any more belts to put on, but I, I don't let things like that ruin my day. And you just have to go on with something else that makes you happy. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.